it's just been the most fantastic day ever. We've had an absolutely brilliant time. Thousands of people here, wonderful food, wonderful cookery demonstrations from celebrity chefs from the Manoir. We've had Raymond Blanc signing his book. We've had Lottie Duncan doing um, some demonstrations as well. So there's talks on fish sustainability, there's a beer tent, there's beer making. I mean, there's just so much. It's gone so well today, it's still going well. We've had the beer tents going all day long. We're doing sausage school and wine tasting and all sorts of things. It's uh, an event that people now uh, look forward to and it's just a wonderful family day. We like to uh, engage children and sort of get them interested. I mean, just for a start with all the stalls are so wonderful and all the smells, it's like a sort of Moroccan bazaar. But we've got the Good Biscuit Company here doing biscuit decorating with children. Make a dough tortoise at the Cottage Bakery and we've got foodie face painting as well. But there are lots of other little things going around and the chef demonstrations. We had um, Beverly Glock here doing a children's cookery demonstration which was absolutely wonderful and it's great to see the children enjoying food so much and learning so much about food. I've only heard positive feedback. It's been a great day, um, still lots to do but uh, it's been wonderful, great atmosphere, all these people in Tame, it's amazing really. I didn't know Tame before we built the site here and I certainly think it's a, you know, it's a, it's a hidden gem and the more you can get people in and knowing about the town, the better it is for the town and its businesses. This is brilliant for town, just so many different people coming to see what we're all about and the local local businesses. The atmosphere today has been the best we've seen here, for sure. There's been so many people here, so good-willed, so much fun. bags of all this local wonderful artisan produce. I, I've got to be honest with you, the main reason I've come down here today is to get Raymond Blanc's autograph on one of his books. Uh, I'm a big fan of what he does. We saw Raymond Blanc. My highlights of the food festival today have been the, just seeing the professionals in action because we're getting into this real foodie culture. There's so many reality shows on TV. Everybody thinks they can, you know, be a cook or a chef. But to see the guys, how quickly and how you know, professionally they do it is a real eye-opener. So that's, that's been a real highlight for me. I think the Le Manoir demonstration just now was, was pretty good. It, it beats my beans on toast anyway, put it that way. The food here is oh, okay. cool. so different and I wouldn't have tried any of this if I hadn't have come here. The variety of food, the variety of stalls, what there is on offer, the free samplings, always worthwhile. Sausages and chocolate butter. <laughs> Oh, I had a bit of the granola, which was delicious, but I'm just um, about to go and sample the paella and maybe a bit of sangria, go crazy. Obviously loads of different stalls with different uh, foods and, and, and tastings and it's, it's so local and so sort of what England's about in a way. You know, we've got some really good local uh, produce and retailers and uh, I think you know, everyone's uh, played a big part in actually making today a real success. To me, this festival is all about these incredible values, old and the young and, uh, and holding hands together and tasting food, reconnecting with food, with varieties, with uh, various heritage that we have lost. The idea behind the event is to actually introduce people from the town and the region to all the artisan local food producers and drink producers. It's only a win-win situation because it, environmentally it means there are fewer food miles, local produce tastes better, it means that everything is sort of self-sustaining and we can all understand about how food is produced more and we understand about the ingredients that goes into it, so we're eating much more naturally just by sourcing our food locally. Britain is reconnecting with its food culture. Food is now part of British consciousness rather than separated from. And it's marvellous to see our retailers now reconnecting with the small producers, with the local producers, we, and to, go, to get back to our heritage that we have lost. Today demonstrates that uh, there's a very sort of vibrant sort of market community and I think uh, it's been a really, really successful day, really pleased to be part of it. It's grown and grown and grown exponentially and this year's just been absolutely amazing, it's been vast. I believe it's bigger and better every year and I mean the amount of people here, absolutely fantastic. The number of people here, 
something that Tame really needs to put it on the map. They'll probably compete with many of the other food festivals we've been to in the past. I want to see it um, to be the Abergavenny and the Ludlow of the South East. And honestly, I can see it growing that way. With the organisation behind, I really feel it's just going to get bigger and bigger and better.